This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. It's not about me, it's about all the other folks that are people. Intense rain plus plenty of runoff and the Truckee River spilled over its banks in some parts of town. Today, Governor Brian Sandoval took a look at some of the damage caused by this storm. Stormwatch tops Channel 2 News at 5 o'clock. Boy, mm, what a day it right. was. The floodwaters crested in Reno and Sparks and are now receding, obviously. Good evening. I'm Kristen Remington. And I'm Landon Miller. Thank you for staying with us tonight and joining us tonight. Are you dry? I'm you dry, good? finally. Took, it took a while. Took a little bit, but we're all dried <laughs> out. Let's see how things are in downtown Reno right now with Ryan Canada. He joins us live with a look at maybe some of the damage assessment and the water levels there. Ryan, stand dry, buddy. Yeah, stand dry. Actually, the uh, skies are a lot better than they have been uh, last night. It's, it's, it's a lot better to work in, I will say. And so far, we actually talked to city officials a little earlier today, and they gave us an assessment. And they say that they're still really checking out things here in downtown just to see just where all the damage may be and kind of driving, driving around in the area. We saw just little puddles. Obviously, there's still some closures on Arlington Street Bridge, Sierra Bridge, as well as Lake Street Bridge. We want to give you a closer look over here at the parks near Arlington Bridge, where you can see really where some of the bulk of the damage is some of those big those big logs that have all collected there where all the water had gone up there earlier and that's where the crews are really cleaning up all that mud and other debris but city officials say downtown fared rather well in fact much better than was expected things went certainly better than in 05 uh, i think the very virginia street bridge that we're standing on had a lot to do with that and i think just the coordination with all the other jurisdictions and all the entities coming together to make sure a week ago we were doing, you know, advanced preparation. And city officials say because of the architecture of the Virginia Street Bridge, water and debris didn't even come close to breaching the, to breaching the roadway there. They also say that it wasn't just the planning efforts from city and state leaders that helped mitigate the flood damage in downtown, but also the help from the Northern Nevada community. The volunteers that helped fill, uh, fill sandbags, all of the volunteers that helped notify the homeless and help them to get to higher ground. It was impressive and this community is like another. And we want to kind of show you too just how much the water has gone down. My photographer Luis Latino was down here near the Arlington Bridge all night last night and he said near that white sign over there is where the water was up to and it has of course gone down quite a bit since then. And we actually talked to what city officials also tell us that in, uh, including the cleanup efforts, picking up some of the debris, they say that they're also now shifting gears because of the colder weather that's coming in a few days, and that's where they're focus their efforts next. Covering Stormwatch live in downtown Reno, Ryan Kennedy, Channel 2 News. All right, Ryan, good to see. Thanks so much.